here at the Parade of Champions. And there's a big show off there in front. Can you see him? He's a world champion, and he has to do a number of demonstrations. So, too, does Elvis Stoiko. So choreography is important, not only in competition, but for the demonstration. And take a look at the choreography of Canada's national hero, Elvis Stoiko. Professional figure skating allows skaters a certain freedom in their choreography. Required elements aren't as restrictive as in amateur skating, and music can include vocals in the professional world. But a choreographer still must keep the judges in mind, whether the competition be amateur or professional. When I'm choreographing a piece for Christian Gucci or Brian Boitano or Kurt, uh, I know that it's going to be judged, so therefore, even though the rules in professional skating are much looser, we set our own rules. We know what the judges are going to like and not like, so that means that we're more re restricted artistically, even in the pro world, because you can't take a chance, or not too much of a chance, and, and push too far where it may cost a competition. Canadians knew all about his huge talent, about his world champion.